Hello everyone. Welcome to my place. I want to talk about something that millions of people are being lied to, being deceived, and I want to make this video and dedicate it to the Jewish people. They're being trash. They are being blamed for Christ's death. And this nonsense is going to have to stop. Even I was deceived believing the hatred of the Jews for no reason. So I'm here to clarify and, and get you to stop and to think what you're doing is damaging yourself with God and Christ because your hatred toward the Jews is uncalled for. Stop and think about this for a few minutes, okay? Christ was born as a Jew. He died as a Jew. He died for his Jewish people. He died for his mother his earthly father, his disciples, and all the Jews that believed he was the Son of God. He died for the race of the Jews. He rather die for his people to die by the hands of other people. Now yes, the Romans did kill him, but it was the Pharisees, those leaders, wanted him to be executed because he was a threat to them. Because all the wonderful things he did, raising the dead, healing people that could not even walk, people that was bound in arthritis and couldn't hear, he did all these wonderful miracles he did for his people the Jewish people if Christ didn't love the Jewish people he would never warn the people about the threat of the Romans army when he told them when you see them coming and when they leave, then you need to get out of Jerusalem. You need to leave for your life. So a bunch of them did laugh. And some of them was bullheaded. That didn't believe him in his words when he told the disciples what was going to happen to the second temple and to Jerusalem. So the disciples warned people what Christ told them to do. Now if Christ was a hateful person he would never told his disciples to warn the Jewish people to get out of Jerusalem. You fear what you don't understand people. The lies we all have been told 
is to deceive us, to mislead us from, from the hope of the Jewish people. Because the video I made in the book of Zechariah, it mentioned truth will flow from Jerusalem. And it mentioned out of ten men out of the nations and languages, if you want to look at it, would grab hold of a sleeve of a Jewish man and say, take us to Jerusalem, that's where the truth is. People, if the Bible tells you the Jewish people is still God's chosen people, still in favor of Christ and His Father, then why are we bashing the Jews when the Bible teaches another thing? Yes, the Scriptures did say Christ said something about this generation of the Jews was bullheaded. They didn't want to believe him. But that was that one generation of Jews. That's not talking about Jews over 2,000 years later in our time that people are blaming them. Can you imagine you sitting at the table your owner of a company and you have a person sitting at the table and said the reason they don't like you because you killed Jesus basically not in those sack words but basically that's what that person was saying that hurt that man in the heart The Jewish people should be happy that Christ died for them first. He died for the Jews first and Gentiles was second. He didn't die for the Gentiles first. He died for the Jewish people first. He loved them. So this hatred, what you're doing, because you're being mislead, misguided by religious people like Jehovah's Witnesses, the Mormons, and a bunch of others trying to get you to hate the Jews. Just like God or Christ told Moses who blesses you I would bless them who gives hatred toward them he will show vengeance against them so when you as a person or a group of people or a race put a hatred against the Jews. You are condemning yourself. You will die for your hatred. Because that is what Satan wants you to do. To hate the Jews because you have not gone through the scriptures and learned what I learned and learned what others learn about the Jewish people. So, all I'm saying is, if you want everlasting life, you have to stop this hatred against the Jews and also other people too. People, the Jewish people is wonderful people. The only reason they got bitterness because we, not me anymore, but you out there is holding a grudge on something that you should be thanking the Jews.
for putting Christ to death. Because Christ told his disciples this was the path he, he chose the path he was going to take. Because remember he rebuked Peter. When Peter told him that he didn't have to take that path. He didn't have to die by the hands of the Jews. But what did he told him? Get back Satan. So I'm telling you people get back Satan. Just like he told to Peter. Because he had to die for his people. He had to die for all mankind to stop killing animals sac animals to be sacrificed for men's sin. So that's the reason why he had to die and that stop the animal sacrificing. And that's re part the reason why the second temple was destroyed to stop all animal sacrifices because Christ died for us all. So there was no more meaning of animal sacrifices anymore for forgiving of sins. So people, you need to start reading the Bible more. The love of Christ for his people is still there. And we're never going to change. Not by Jehovah Witnesses, not by the Mormons, not by any other religious people trying to deceive you, mislead you, and lie to you about the Jews. And I learned this from the Bible. That's the reason I went through all the old books, the Hebrew scriptures. Um, not, they're not old books. The Hebrew scriptures and the Greek scriptures. All he wanted the Jews to do is stop worshiping other gods. Stop being evil like the Gentiles. We all are brothers and sisters, mothers, fathers, and we have to stop this hatred toward the Jews and everyone else. We should be loving each other. We all a human race. We all was created from Adam and Eve. We are their offspring. Christ came to die for all of us. He's not rejecting no one. He sure didn't reject the Jews. Because remember one thing, if you read the Bible, when he died, some of the graves opened up and people that was in the graves started walking again. Who were they? The Jews. A bunch of the Jews came back to life. So if he didn't care about the Jews, why would he open up some of the graves and the Jews started walking around. Think about it people. There is so much love that Christ has given for the Jews. He even opened a door for them to return to their homeland. Because the future of the Jewish people is going to help us to find the real truth 
about his Christ and his Father. And it's going to be coming from Jerusalem. It's not going to be coming from your religion. It's not coming from Wallkill, Jehovah's Witnesses headquarters. Or the Muslims or any other religion. It's going to be from Jerusalem. So I hope this information will get you to think. If you're rejecting the Jews and having hate for the Jews, then you will have to answer to Christ and his Father for hating people that he wanted his people to do what he wanted him them to do. He wanted them to let him let him die for them. It's through their motive at that time wasn't the way it's supposed to be. But he chose the path that he wanted. And if he wanted to die by the hands of Americans or the Greek, the Romans, are we supposed to be going around bashing the American people if Christ died because we, we wanted him to die? We should be all thanking the Jews for letting Christ die for all mankind. Because the Romans didn't want to kill him. But his people wanted him to die. And that was the death Christ told his disciples that he was going to take. To, for people who have to believe in him that he died for all of us so please put the hate aside put it on the people that told you this lie about the Jews those are the ones you should be hating for lying to you. Just like I'm, I hate the Jehovah Witnesses religion because they taught us to reject the Jews. They taught us to despise the Jews. This is what people who serve Satan the devil is teaching you as a human being to despise the Jews. So the witnesses and whoever out there has hatred toward the Jews, you are doing exactly what your father Satan asking and telling you to do. So you will not gain salvation and everlasting life if you keep having bitter hate toward a race that helped you to gain eternal life. And that was the Jewish people. And that's all I got to say. You want life? Then you better start respecting the Jews as a human being. Christ died for them first. And he, and for, through the, the Jewish people, now think about this first. Through the Jewish people, like Paul and others, the Gentiles was able to learn about Christ's death. So, if it weren't for the Jewish people, none of us today would have ever known what Christ had done. Because it was those people, the disciples, who wrote the books of the Greek scriptures to give you a chance for salvation. They're the ones who wrote the books so we will learn about Christ 
and his father to gain everlasting life. So you still won't put the hatred on the Jews for what the kindness they did and what the kindness Christ did for all mankind. You need to do some soul searching because I am proud that I have learned that I don't have to hate the Jewish people anymore because I was being blinded by watchtowers for Star Trek against the Jews thinking that God rejected the Jews and chose Jehovah's Witnesses to be his people. This is a bare faced lie. God would never chose an evil organization that has so much false doctrines, everything in it, evil, and they have the nerve to say that God chose them and reject his people. Anyone believes that Job Witnesses has the real truth, you might as well say the Baptists, the Catholics, the Mormons, Latter day Saints, Seventh day Adventists, whatever. I might say the, the uh, Mormons twice, but however you want to look at it, they're all false religions. The Jewish people is the, the path of true salvation. You can take it or you can leave it. You want life or you want death. But you have to have to have one thing. You got to forgive. Now forgive the Jews. Forgive yourself for hating the people that helped made the Bible for you and for me. Now if God and Christ hated the people, the Jews, he would have had the Gentiles to write the Bible. He would have had the Greeks write the Bible. He would have had other, other groups to write the Bible. But he didn't. He chose the Jews. The choice is yours. Thank you for listening and Take this information, put it in your heart, and do some soul searching in your heart and in the Bible, and you'll find what I'm telling you is the truth. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.